Max and Min always enjoyed playing in the sand pit, but one day they spent a very funny half hour in a ball pit at the local spring fair. They were amazed at how easy it was to move amongst the large plastic balls and how much air space there was between them all in that large box they were in. Back at home a little later, the twins were telling their mum all about it. Well, it's just like this box of apples here, she was saying. Because the apples are round like a ball, there will always be lots of gaps between them if they are stacked inside a box. That's why you wouldn't use something round like a ball to measure or compare the size or volume of boxes. To do that, you need to fill the boxes with something that won't leave gaps. Like sand! said Max. Or like these little cubes we were just playing with that are all the same size, said Min. Cubes are boxy solids that have all their sides equal. That's correct, kids. Remember the other day how you used sand to compare the volume of your buckets in the sand pit? It's a lot less messy to use these little cubes to fill a box and they stack very easily without gaps so that you can truly measure and compare the volume of two or more boxes. Let me show you. Their mum got two small empty boxes, put them on the table and started filling one with some little blue cubes stacking them carefully inside the box without any gaps until the box was full. Okay, she said, this box took five rows of five cubes, which is 25 cubes, to fill the bottom. Then it took four more layers of 25 cubes to fill the box to the top. So that is five layers of 25 cubes altogether, which is 125 little blue cubes to fill this box. She then got some little multicolored cubes and, in the same way, without gaps in between, filled the second box to the top. This thinner, taller second box, she said, took three rows of three cubes, which is nine cubes, to fill the bottom. Then it took five more layers of nine cubes to fill the box to the top. So that is six layers of nine cubes altogether which is 54 cubes to fill this box. So, she concluded, we can truly measure and compare the volume of the two boxes because we have used the same units of measure, that is, the little cubes, and have stacked them without any gaps. If you have little cubes at home or school, see if you can compare the volume of boxes by stacking the cubes inside them without gaps. You can watch this video again or try the quiz and look at the chart that comes with this video.